Welcome to London and the London Underground, affectionately known as the Tube. With just a few easy tips, you will be able to negotiate your favorite destination on the London transport system. The London subway started around the 1850s, making it one of the oldest subway systems in the world. And since 2000, the Transport for London, TFL, is responsible for the London transport system. This is a huge system. It has 270 stations, 11 lines, and 250 miles of track. The length making it the second longest in the entire world, just behind Shanghai Metro. Not only is the subway system huge, it's also very busy. For example, in 2007, they logged one billion passenger journey just in that year alone. So that makes this system about the third busiest in all of Europe, just behind Paris and Moscow. In order to get going, the first thing that you need to do is purchase an Oyster card. An Oyster card is London's smart card. Go to the website at www.visitorshop.tfl.gov.uk and on that website you will find approved travel agents that can sell you one of these cards already loaded with money so that when you arrive in London that you'll be ready to go. If you leave home without purchasing your Oyster card ahead of time, that's not a problem because when you get to London, you can buy the Oyster card at tube stations, you can buy them at rail stations, and there are 4,000 authorized ticket shops where you can buy an Oyster card. In the event that you don't want to use a kiosk, you can also use one of the ticket counters. And this is for assistance or for purchasing your Oyster card. Okay, we have our Oyster card. Now what we have to do is figure out where we want to go. That's where we turn to the map. Now, the interesting thing about the London Tube is that there are 11 lines and each line is a different color. For example, we're on the Jubilee line here at Westminster and that's a gray colored line. And so we've got the big map or the little map, whichever one we want, and we can look at where this line goes. Now what I need to know is whether I need to go westbound or eastbound. So when I find one of the big maps down here, I look for where I'm going to go. I find Bond Street. I know that I take the westbound train and I go on platform four. Once you're on the train, then you can check the overhead maps to make sure that you're on the right train. We're almost there. We have our Oyster card, we have our map, and the last thing that we have to do is learn how to touch in and touch out. So I take my Oyster card, I place it on the yellow pad, the doors open, and I walk through. Because the London subway system is so huge, there has to be time for repair and maintenance. Oftentimes, on the weekends, you will come to the station and you will find that parts of different lines have been closed. And this can sometimes cause a problem. But if you're real confused, you can always find a TFL uniformed employee who will help you and guide you so that you can get on your way to wherever you want to go. To help those of us who need a little bit of extra help up and down, 
Not only do many of the stations have escalators, but they also have lifts. Not all stations have lifts, but here at Westminster we have one, and so here we go. It's very nice if you've got a lot of luggage to use. If you have special needs or you need a step-free access to the train, just note where there is the handicap signal on the map and that'll tell you where every one of those locations are. If you have trouble with your Oyster card, then call the Oyster hotline at 0845-330-9876 and you will be assisted in whatever you need with your Oyster card.